many of these. Yeah. Theo, what are you doing? Shh, you're distracting me. You can't end it, time and... Can you stop breathing this aloud? Oh, sorry. Do you like my typewriter? Oh, so that's what it is. This room is so dark, I can tell for sure. This one has a very distinct root, doesn't it? Look at how its dark sheen reflects the dim light. It uh, feels kind of gloomy in here all of a sudden, though. That's why it's such a good model. You don't understand, do you? It's not something I really want to understand. Especially if I came across it at midnight or something. If you perform a manual return, it adds another haunting sound to the heavy clacking of the keys. Okay, well, I gotta go. <laughs> that was just a joke. Clack. Huh? Was it really just a joke? What are your reference to? Horror games of some sort. More zombie hunting as usual. What's a chore? That's it for the day at least. I better clean up and then... Huh? Oh my. <laughs> Such fresh cuts of meat. They look absolutely scrumptious. What's Lady Wax doing over here by the zombies I just read out full of bullets? Zombies are like any other monster, so I should be able to consume them in much the same way. Is this game related for a, rated for such a gruesome act? I better bow out before we get penalized, huh? Well, if it isn't for you... Ah, what are you doing? I'm really curious about trying out this new delicacy. So you're going to eat them? Eat me? Oh, I wouldn't mind masticating you for a while. Ah, you sinful monster! What are you gonna do with that? The sinful beings of this world need to be purified. Put that rocket launcher down this instant. Ah. Huh? Um. Uh. I did do regret asking, but what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just please forget what you just saw. <laughs> no can do. I saw you. You're stinking it out, too. Like some kind of shadow demon. Oh, dear horses. You made me sound like a stalker or something. But... Right? Ah, forget it. Vio, tell me how you did that funky move of yours. You were sliding on one foot. It's a forbidden technique from ta the tank controls handbook. Huh? Really? So it really is dangerous and the light- It is really- Ah, for fuck's sake. It really is a dangerous and legendary move. Please teach it me how to do it. Oh, let's see. Press this button rapid. Huh? Excellent. All my shots are the ta intended targets. Wow, that looks like fun. You have a cool gun too. Bad it for something? I am, but Levi, I never would have paid you for a gun enthusiast. I know lots about guns. If you think I'm all about fists, then you're pew, dead wrong. I see. I better not tell her exactly what I just thought of her. <laughs> Can I try shooting it? Sure, just don't jam it or break it or anything. Are you teasing me? I'm as good at handling these as any pro. You're really taking the problem premise of this joke too far. Holy crap! Well, wow, you had six shots last time? Huh? I haven't used this type of gun in a while, so I'm a little rusty. Six shots? One hole! That's not natural, even for a pro! What's with the frightened look? I thought I did pretty good. You really can't judge a big by its cover, huh? Please stop looking at me like that. Six shots. One hole. She's terrifying. She's so terrifying. Jenny, are you creating some other crazy device now? How rude, the device I'm creating is now now is a versatile tool. Okay. Behold, the Noir Dar. With this radar attuned to Noir's every move, you can watch her from afar. What? That's illegal in more ways than one. Hmm, ah oh look, it would seem that Lady Noir has just entered her shower. What? Oh, uh, you just picked it, didn't you? Face up! Die, vile device! Die! <laughs> What have you done? I'll say you destroy it! If you insist on whining, then I'll go ahead and inform Lady Noir that you're creating here. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
She's had enough experience with bugs, okay? How about the item I got for you, Genetia? It's not working anymore. I see, let me take a look. Okay, here you go. Hmm, I see. I got it. I think it's only because a massive puzzle that needed to be solved. I found the cause. Okay, so can you hurry up and fix it for me? I have to rescale the radar and this weapon's parameters. What? Stop it right now! What do you think you're doing? Huh? But powering up a device after it breaks down is process covered extensively by Robotics 101. Yeah, that's what I did with my car brakes. Every time something goes wrong with it, it's like, well, it's already in the garage, I might as well do this, 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 and this. <laughs> it's a sort of film of, well, I might as well. <laughs> Ordinary appliances don't need to follow such intricate procedures. Well, I managed to create a new device using a special alloy, so I could combine the two and... Please just stop. Hey, I'm with her on this one. Why not upgrade it? I mean, it's broken anyway, so... If you get it to work, and it's even better, what are you going to complain about? Anyway, Janetta, we need to talk. Oh, what about... Can you create a bipedal tank? Hmm, that's possible, but I need to start with the base materials and schematics. Funny you should say that, I just so happen to obtain the schematics you see. You see, this is quite interesting. It's a trade, I'll give you these schematics if you agree to develop the tank. Deal. Eh, yeah, consider it. <laughs> Only a small handful of us. Us have the gift to move the world like this. While we're on the subject of moving, let me know what you think if you're looking for a new lab. I'll find it. What is dude? I'm generally or stuff you. What the hell is a bipedal tank? How's that schematic working out? It isn't bad. I must say though, a project of this scale, people will notice it. I guess I can't help that. Speaking of, we don't have a special code name for this project to simplify matters. Code name, huh? How about Iron Cog? It sounds rather similar to something else, doesn't it? Really? You think it's similar, girl? Similar? I, I see, so you have a better suggestion, Janetti. Let me think. How does Project John Doe start? John Doe? Named in honor of a high ranking officer who de developed four mecha prototypes. Alluring, isn't it? No, try again. Ah, very well. How about John Neo, or John Seed, or maybe J. John? Enough about John already! <laughs> Genetia, are you good at seizing things? Seizing? I don't suddenly like collect valuable trinkets from my experiments, if that's what you mean. I see, so how do you do it? There are two patterns to consider. Two patterns? Go on. One, I destroy the mothership and then capture my targets. It's a simple approach. And it gives you free pickings. Yeah, but it could kill you if you get caught up in the seizing stuff. I usually just blow up the ship. <laughs> um, and... Two. Corner the opponent, surround them, and then seize all the belongings by force. That part works for anything. Thank you for viable info. I gotta ask though, what do you want to know? This is to quell you in case you cite rebellion. Precautionary measures, you see. B -b -b what? I would never do such a thing. Yet. Get up and head to your true motives, can ya? I would never do such a thing. Yeah, that's why we think you're gonna do something bad. Huh? A soccer ball? Did one forget to put this away? I don't know how he's it. Man, I suck at football. Wow, it's heavier than I recall. Mwah ha 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 ha. what are you doing here, Motor? Don't jump out of your, jump out all of a sudden. Your fault for kicking that ball around. My fault? What's dri my dribbling got to do with your sneak attack? Well, I don't know why, but whenever I see a ball, I want to chase it and smack it with my hand. Oh, very like a cat. I'm no cat. I'm a nice, cute girl. Fetch. Yeah. Hmm. My body made me do it. <laughs> Just like a cat. You, just a little bit left. Huh? Is that Maru? Hey Maru, what you doing here? I thought you told me you were going out hunting today. Hey, found you Noir. Do you remember what I said uh, what I said I was gonna do, go do my hunting? Why are you asking me? Only you would know that. <laughs> well, I kinda got last. I was wondering what I should do and then you showed up. Alright, oh, I forgot that you're abysmal with directions. So, uh, Noir. You look bored, so how about you walk me to the nearest hunting grounds? I'm not bored, I'm busy. You figure it out yourself, you're a hunter, aren't you? 
Oh, come on, please, come on, Noir, please, come on, please, come on, come on, come on. Uh, all right, fine, enough. I'll take you to a nearby spot, but I'm not hunting with you. Yay, let's go hunting, buddy. The last place was so cold, my hair stood on end, and I've wanted to help. Wait, I literally just told you that I'm not hunting with you. Stop pulling, man. Hmm, what's with this dead obvious trap? Someone challenging me? I see them try to catch. Crap, the first trap was a face. I'm stuck in here. Can't be, I kind of big it. Wait, Land, what are you doing up there? Are you responsible for the traps? Not bad, Mauro. You were able to deceive even me. Thanks, but you look like a big slab of meat hanging upside down like that. That's how you feel. Can you let me down? Okie dokie. Phew. My direction must have grown a bit rusty. I can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> you really surprised me. Never expected my hunting trap to catch you for dinner, Lid. Marty, you make it sound so simple, but the truth of the matter is that your trapping skills are rather impressive. I would love to learn about how you go about setting your traps. Okay, so you want to hunt with me? I'll set up so many traps you won't be able to take a step. Hmm, learn by example, is it? Very well, I'll join your hunting expedition. Okay, awesome, let's go! What are you trying to hunt? And yep. Oh boy, Mario, if you use your hammer here, you're gonna get a red card. Hiya, Wen. I was hoping to see you. You had a card to your neat gift. Hmm, what is it? A whistle? But it's way too big for a whistle. You always end up spitting when you try and blow your whistle. So I felt bad and made you one. Don't feel bad for me over something like that. This was a hunting whistle. Blow this bad boy and you'll get a lot of extra muscle. Oh, really? Dude, Wed, try blowing the whistle. I, if I get, I get stronger if I blow it. That sounds like fun. Here I go. I can't get it to work, Maru. You're doing it wrong, Goofy. You need to whistle. You need more whistle practice. Okay, I got it. Then I'm gonna train all night. Bye bye, Wed. Oh wait, I didn't carve any of the air holes. No wonder it didn't work. And that's a collaboration. What? A collaboration between Mario and Tsunami was made. Polite golf clap. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, Mario. What the hell just happened? <laughs> All you meant was that you wished to have a collaboration with me. Details, please. I thought it sounded like fun. That's a nice, simple example, but I'm afraid I still don't quite understand. Ah, don't worry about it. I made a weapon just for you. This is a weapon? I are a singer, so I made a hammer that looks like a guitar. Oh, and this one looks like a microphone. Both are hammers before instruments. Though, but I appreciate you preparing these tools for me, but... Collaborations are a give and take. I need to supply you with something as well, but I have nothing to give. I thought you could do for me. Can I have one of your outfits? Like the one I'm wearing now? Uh, unfortunately, I have no clean spares. Then give, me cl then give me the clothes off your back. Pardon me. <laughs> Come on, Tsunami, take it all off. Wait, what? Uh, no, if I did that, then I would have nothing else to wear. You can have mine. We're all about, we're about the same size, which means it really should, which really sounds like a good old collaboration to me. Well, Mario, please wait a moment. This is exactly a collaboration. We are merely exchanging clothes. Yeah, I can't to say too many words. I'm obviously in your clothes now. Uh, um, someone help. I would, but I'd rather see. <laughs> Eh, yeah, come on, you are curious too, now aren't you? You're curious as to what the diva really does look like under, under all that. Anyway. Heads up! Ouch, what the? A soccer ball! Oops, I'm sorry about that. I need to apologize, I'm not bleeding or anything. But I really am sorry. I gotta get better at controlling my kicks. Have you been using a kicking net to practice controlling your kicks? You just have to hold up the net. The what? Um, you know, this thing. Put the ball into the net, hold it, and practice your kicks like this. Well, that's... See, if you practice your kicks like this, the ball won't fly all over the goddamn place. That's stupendous! You're some kind of ball kicking genius! I had no idea that's what the net thing was for. Now you can kick to your heart's content without worrying about nailing other people in the face. 
Yep, thanks so much. Hey, look it. Now I can fling the ball around like it's a giant ball and chain. Hey, knock it out, wet. If you swing it around like that. Boing, toss it into the air and super shot. Uh oh. Hey, who kicked this stupid ball and net through my stupid one? No! Yikes! That's a record! Remember, I got one at the dish branches. Let's go, secretary guy! Why do I have to run? Don't talk at my arms, arms so hard, when? Dash, juke, dodge! You aren't even listening to me! But yeah, run! That's one very angry noir! <laughs> Please, 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 maybe a really high spec soccer ball. What a sudden bout of begging. Where's that Christ coming from? Janetti, you're good, you're good with machines and stuff. Sco, can you make me an awesome ball too? You can, can't you? An awesome ball? That's fascinating, to say the least. Like it can fly super high into the air, or it dribbles itself if you're in a major clutch with two left feet. Can you make me a ball that can do stuff like that? I see, understood. Leave it all to me. Really? Yay, thanks. What specs were you thinking again? I could place a rotating turret here, and I could give it arms, and... Um, uh, you know that I still want it to be a ball, right? Yeah, ball, yes, right. Well, okay, that means I don't have to want turrets or arms on it. I'm gonna get it, I don't want to friggin' objects or heavy objects. <laughs> it's like, I wanted a ball, not a planet. <laughs> Nephi, here, pass it back. What are you doing? It's dangerous to get a ball on me like that. Huh? That's so weird. I thought you'd be a natural. Why would you think that? I never played soccer before in my life. But aren't Kung Fu people really good at playing soccer? Where did you get such a ridiculous information from? A movie? A movie, huh? <laughs> oh, I mean that movie. Yeah, where bald monks and are like kicking balls on fire all over the field and stuff. That movie wasn't about Kung Fu. It was about a different discipline. What? Are you kidding me? So that's why you suck at soccer? Man, that's so lame. Huh? That's me to say to me, plus that all you made so sense. Okay. Lead, Lead, I hear a, you're a ball handling specialist, is that true? Excuse me? Everyone tells you that you can't keep yourself away from the ball. You've misheard. I can't keep myself away from the cupboard box. That's box, not ball. Whoa, really? Aw, they tricked me. Um, hmm. Perhaps I could humor you. Here, pass me the ball. Huh? Okay. Ha, ah, there, to death. Wow, ah, that was a sweet kick. I never thought you'd doing an insane punter like that. Well, oh, during one recon mission, I associated myself with the soccer team. I'm surprised nobody caught on. Only a handful of people could possibly see through my disguise. Oh, so you disguised yourself? In the same way, I totally don't want people to know how good I am. You're misunder misinterpreting again. Slowly getting through all the bits <laughs> before we even start on the pain that is this actually it's not true. On the story before it becomes a pain. Because I already know full well that this chapter the CPUs are fucked off and next chapter all these idiots fuck off. <laughs> so it's just the CPUs, which to be honest for me might actually be easier. And then after that it's pain. Just pain. Lots and lots of pain. Oh dear god, why? You've been what? Anyway. There you are, Secretary San. Hey sorry. Uh, you ran over here so quick, so is something the matter? Well, no, I just thought it would be nice to catch up with you. You could have called out and asked me to wait in that case. Oh, you're so right. I'm sorry, what was I thinking? No, 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 no. I'm sorry to have made you run the way here. No, 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 I'm so sorry that I couldn't consider my being... My being a bother to you. Ah, no, nah, don't worry about it. No, 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 please don't worry. <laughs> Did I say something funny? Nah, I just think how alike we are. I mean, we were both apologizing back and forth for no good reason. <laughs> You're right. Maybe more like that either of us expected. I guess so. So what can I do for you? Um, actually, I forgot. I'm sorry. You see, when you remember, just give me a call. I'm gonna get back to work then. Okay, do your best. Thanks. Hmm. What are you hmm in about, sorry? Oh, sorry, I was lost in the thought. Anything important on your mind? Well, this... Uh, I get so many of these now. A letter? Is that a love letter? Nah, nothing like that. Could you please read it? Right. Alright, ahem. Uh -huh. May this letter bring you much misfortune. What the heck? 
Yeah, I got these a lot. I'm trying to figure out who's sending them to me. Most of the time, people who send these stupid letters are carrying a really pretty, gr really petty grudge. A grudge, huh? I guess me. Um, is this you, Lady Noir? Excuse me? Why would you? I, why would you ever think I'd send you this sort of crap? I just figured you'd be the most troubled if I took secretary sign away. I'm not a vindictive jerk. If I have a problem, I can front people face to face. Yeah, you certainly do. Well, wow, talk about a guilt-free smile. Anyway, sorry. Don't worry about these. You got that? Yeah, thank you very much. Let's on, let's on. Why are you being so loud, sorry? Because it's an emergency. I need you to defuse a bomb. Bomb? Uh, a, a bomb? Oh dear, this is no time to correct your mispronunciations. No, show me where it is. This is a job for a professional. Where's the bomb? Hey, lad, something wrong. Sorry, you led me here. And... Yeah, I asked her to come here to defuse the bomb in you. What are you talking about? Where's the so called bomb? No, 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 Lady Noir, it's love. It's that kind of bomb. It's so a uh, love. Bomb? Yeah, you're dating secretary, son, right? So I figured your love bomb had been lit already. D -d 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 dating who? <laughs> Wait, how did you imagine defusing an abstract bomb? Huh? You can't? Of course not! The bomb doesn't even exist! That's impossible! I swear the, I saw the markings of a love bomb on you! So you were guessing? Stop being ridiculous, all of you! A love bomb? What? I need to ask you something very important, right, Ruka-san. Oh, the concerns of a darling little maiden? Bingo! How oh, spirited. Ask away. I always thought honesty was the most important approach, but it's it okay to be deviant sometimes too. <laughs> I see. So you wish to learn a more mature approach to letting a man know how you feel. Yeah, please. I'm afraid I don't have the luxury of choice anymore. Oh, you feel your date and your darling boy secretary will be whisked away? Well, um... What an adorable blushing face. You do know that everyone, including myself, are making passive and no. Hey, wait, what? This the fucking me. What? No way, not true. This is a one-on-one -on -one love rivalry between me and uh, uh, her. Calm down. If you lose your cool, I'm afraid you aren't prepared to learn the tricks of my trade yet. Uh, then can you show me something I can learn to do real quick? How about asking for a golf date? That has a mature feel to it. Say his children genuinely do not golf. Great, I'll give that a tr- No, don't do golf. Don't do golf. Golf is dangerous to me. Golf is really dangerous to me. It's like mini golf. I'm sure someone's gonna end up in any &E next time I do it. I hit that ball so goddamn hard it bounced off every single wall in the friggin' area, and then damn near hit me in the face. <laughs> I am not kidding. <laughs> I do everything at full power, much like my voice. Yeah. Don't do golf date. Golf date dangerous. Golf date really dangerous. Stop it. <laughs> Don't. Oh, sorry. What's up? Nothing. Just watching. Don't tell me you're thinking about joining the team. But, well, not exactly. I was thinking that maybe exercise would do me some good, though. That's a good enough reason to me. I'll support you, so let's get your workout started. No, 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 not right now. Aw, then what? Uh, I'm soon. I'll ask you when the time comes, so please just let me sit and watch for today. Drat, right, that's too bad. You never increase your stats if you just sit around and watch others, you know. I'm the patient waiting type, though. I don't need to worry about my stats. Okay, gotcha. No late working through all the events. I didn't think there was quite this many, I will admit. Guessing she's finally gonna find out where babies come from, huh? Yes, we have something very important to discuss. Very important, whatever could it be. Will you exp uh, explain soul breeding to me? Actually, yeah, it's about all that stuff. <laughs> At last, someone was wanting to impart their wisdom to me. Yeah, it's not like that. I want to stop you to ask you to stop bringing that topic up with everyone you meet. Uh, but why? I heard that you were even asking him about it. Him? Oh, Mr. Secretary. Yeah, he promised to tell me all about it next time. I'm ready to tell him not to bother. What? Lady Noir, you're being mean. No, I'm not. No matter what you say, that topic is no longer up for discussion. It's bad forever. Lady Noir has some serious issues about this particular topic. What a spite in his chat. Did I just hear some incredibly... What the hell does that word mean? Vitriolotic? 
words come from you? What was I imagining? Oh, I'm sure you were simply imagining it. <laughs> You're being such a meanie. You're not learning where they come from. End up. <laughs> the beast of almighty prowess that lies in a slumber. Sealed away. The destruction is mad. I see. That's how a hero acts. I sense the, the predatory skills of a graceful lion. Now you got it all wrong, Resta. I is not fit to be a hero. I'm the real hero around here. It's simply a still fantasy. I am the one true hero. Nah, -uh, you're wrong. Should a hero not have the capacity to serve as a vessel, vessel to the gods? Vessel? Gods? What's that mean? The one chose to be the vessel to the gods bears children who carry on the well and fate of their ancestors. What? Um. But to become the vessel, you both need to find a strong partner. You'd make. Wait, what? You both need to find a strong partner. You'd better make haste. Such a decision still hangs high in the sky, far from the decision that comes from with Twilight. Yeah, whatever she said, I agree with my whole heart. Such an eternal vow will only take place far in the future. If you both insist on winning, I on and on winning, should I teach you a lesson with my ultimate Nova technique? Nobody will ever teach me. Arrested. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? Did you skip breakfast? Pardon me, I'm not in a bad mood or anything, just simply disappointed. There's no shame in admitting that you're in a bad mood, but hmm, if that's the case. If that's the case, what? Eat, here. Try this delicious food that I call hamburger on a stick. Not that much like meat, I'd rather enjoy a banana. <laughs> that's what I'll do at all. Open wide and cram this in. Yeah, hmm, mm, mm. <laughs> and with that, you're one step closer to becoming a true adult. Yes, because everyone knows true adults eat everything on a stick. Uh, is that so? Thank you. How does that make you one step closer to becoming an adult? <laughs> In what way? Master, <laughs> you always take the worst side. Do you realize that? It isn't my intention, but it just happens to work out that way. Can I join my side then? I'm very sorry, but that isn't quite how the concept works. I have a book you may be interested in reading. Look. What is it? May I see it? So interested? Well, um, well, whatever should I do? The guy you want, but you won't get the book until you decide. Golly, what a tough choice. There's another reason why I want you to take my side for once. Pardon? I sense an affinity with you, as if we have some similarity lurking beneath the surface. Do you think aside from our diminutive statures, I do not see any real... <laughs> Do you think? Despite, aside from our diminutive statues, I do not see any real sima similarities. Diminutive statues meaning they're both flat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, consider my offer, my side, maybe the Nirvana you've been searching for. Alright, I'll be certain to remember this.